close your eyes and watch your breath. Give the mind a place to settle down right here. Take the breath as your food. You can breathe in a way that feels really good, and the mind is hungry for, for a sense of pleasure, so give it pleasure right here. If you don't give it pleasure right here, it's going to go out looking someplace else, usually creating a lot of trouble, both for itself and for other people. So when you train the mind, give it a good place to stay right here. It's an act of kindness to yourself and kindness to others. This is what restraint is all about. It doesn't mean denying yourself pleasure. It means simply denying yourself old ways and unskillful ways of looking for pleasure. Because there are pleasures to be found in the practice, within the bounds of restraint. This is why we take the precepts. There's so many pleasures you can get from killing or stealing, having illicit sex, lying, taking intoxicants. But those pleasures are going to be bad for you and bad for other people down the line. So you say no to those things. You hold, you exercise some restraint over your actions. That way you show yourself goodwill. You show goodwill to others. We like to think of goodwill as being a natural expression, a natural outflowing of our innate good nature. But as the Buddha said, you look at your nature and you see that it's changing all the time. There's nothing innately good or innately bad about it. It can be any kind of thing. Now he talks about goodwill as a kind of restraint. Because there are parts of the mind that could cause a lot of havoc if you gave them free reign. So you say no. But then that doesn't mean you deny yourself any pleasure. You look for better places to find happiness, better places to find well-being inside. Through the practice of generosity, the practice of virtue, the practice of meditation. Particularly the meditation in which you develop goodwill. So set your mind in this. Is the Buddha, another, another place the Buddha said it's a kind of mindfulness, something you keep in mind, and it's a determination. You make up your mind you want this, and then you keep that in mind, and you exercise restraint, and that's goodwill. That's the kind of goodwill that you can spread around to all beings. So remember, the goodwill is not just nice words and smiley faces. It's looking for happiness in a way that's not going to cause anybody any trouble. And that kind of happiness is rare, but it is something we can develop if we exercise restraint. Now we're showing some compassion, of which this world needs a lot. <laughs>